and that just don't go for us because we fighters and we tough guys. That goes for anybody. Every every human being has this certain insight, certain thing in them. Even my girl, like when I, she got a side of her, like you know what I'm saying, like you know. And as men, we push our our, our significant other to the point. Why? Because we want to see it. We wanna, I want to see how tough you are. I want to see where you're gonna go with this. I want to see what you're gonna do. You know what I'm saying? I want to see how far you're gonna take it. You know what I'm saying? So you. Because you want to know who you with. I want to see what you're going to do, what you're not going to do. I want to know, like, like, if I run up, yo, my girl's a punk. She's not a fighter, so let me step up and handle this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Or I'll be like, oh, here come four people. I show you with me. Oh, I know we good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It's a difference. Yeah, and I remember in the fight, and we, we've already ran this clip, he was talking about Trevor Burbick. Mm -hmm. And he said something interesting, and you could probably comment on this better than me. He said that you can't be a championship fighter and a tough guy on the street at the same time. He said that never works out. 100%. And ultimately, Trevor got beaten to death by his nephew. 100%. Ali, and he hurt Ali very bad. When you fought him, was there any revenge? Or 100%, anything? yes, no doubt about it. <laughs> I was going to kill him. You know, I saw the way he beat He was hitting Ali really hard with everything he had. Ali didn't have nothing left. He could have been, he was trying to kill him. Mm. So I said, oh, I can't wait till I get him. Him and Larry Holmes. Him and Larry? Yeah. Mm. His nephew, did you know his nephew killed him? I heard of the story, it was, um, it was some kind of beef over property, I believe. That's what I hear through the neighborhood, all the people that know him, I know me, and, they, and I heard it was over property. And um, I don't know what went down, but my experience with Mr. Um, Trevor Burbick and the people, he was kind of like a bully, tough guy. So you gotta be careful, you're a fighter and you're a tough guy, mm. the, odds of, the odds of you living long is just not good. Good, right. Is that enough that you're a boxer or a yeah. tough guy? Now you're both of them? Yeah, you're not going to be around long. 100%. And, and Mike was kind of alluring that that's sort of like Trevor's persona that just does not work out in real life. And this is coming from someone that fucked up Mitch Green in public, right? right? That, right. Uh, that got into fights in public, you know, with Mike. You as well punch people for making fun of your loss and stuff like that. What do you think Mike means by that? By saying you can't be a championship fighter and a tough guy in the street? Meaning that, meaning that, you know, that's like, you no, know, being a tough guy in the street is like a bully. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Most top fighters in the world, all top fighters in the world don't believe in bullies. Like you'll rarely find a top fighter in the world go around and say, what's up, man? Let's fight, man. We don't do that. If, if we get into some shit, good, we push to it. We're provoked. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we're provoked. Now, if we put, a lot of times, what people tend to do is you might got a fighter like a Nate Robinson that just took a loss and got knocked out. Now they see him on the street, like, oh, you, know, you got fucked up. And they're like, oh, word? He might do that, but now what you gonna do? Now, <laughs> now, now, now you find yourself with your 15 minutes of fame and you gotta put your shit up and find out what you know how to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like, I don't think that it was a, it was malicious or anything like that. No, no. He just saying that you know what I'm saying you can't be a you can't be a, a a tough guy on the street and a great fighter in because the hearts don't go to weather. If you a great fighter inside the ring, you are you a loving, compassionate person outside. You love people. Mm. You know what I'm saying. If you were if you were a fucking bully outside outside in the street, you can't fight a hundred percent. If a real deal fighter pull up on you, you don't know how to fight. You don't know your ass from your elbow. I, 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 I can bet anything on it. They don't know they ass from their elbow. You know what I mean? Or they gonna run and get a gun or get a knife or get a gang or one on one, what you can do? Mm. Nothing. Fact. Zero zip. Yep. You know what I mean?